So let's fight. Power C millennia, you shall fall before the end. We fight to stay for liberty and for justice. All right, onward. Okay, uh, do we want to take a look at our decks? We probably do, or hands rather. Uh, ah, screw it. Let's just start the game. All right. Well, I want to see what this is. The Shrine of the Inet. Whenever villain target will be destroyed, flip it over instead. This card and all cards underneath this card are destroyed and cannot be removed from the player by any means. So, uh, huh? They just get flipped over. That's. I've never played this before. Alright, we get Nuit. Alright, we're getting all these guys. Geb. We'll take, check all these guys out in a second. A tomb. I think there's going to be five uh, villains. And Tefnut. Oh, what a name there. Isis. Oh. That looks cool. And this is right. Destroy environment cards. Villain target. Uh, uh, the villain target with the lowest hit points deals each hero target. X protect where X is the number of cards destroyed by this card. So zero. Choose for me, and we will all take zero damage. Uh, let's see. I don't even know what these guys are doing. Uh, the first time a card is put into the villain trash, each turn this card deals the two non-villain targets with the highest hit point two melee. This is gonna hit. Uh, and then this guy with the first time a card put the villain trash each turn. She's gonna do stuff and the first time. All right, so we'll just uh, say choose for me. That's fine. Uh, I don't think the auto will matter. So choose for me. We're gonna take some damage. And the villains come out swinging. Uh, who's considered to have the most in play? Uh, well, whoever has the most health. Uh, I guess we'll save the legacy. And he's gonna be get hit. All right. Well, hmm. Booster allies would be good. A fly wow, these guys have a lot of health. Holy crap! Uh, I don't want to do lead for the front yet. Uh, booster allies might be actually really good. This is this is nice, but because they're not low on health, I don't want to use it. I'd rather just do booster allies. And then everybody has more options, so we'll do that. Booster allies, and I'll hit choose for me. Everybody's gonna draw a card, and hopefully that'll give them a better chance at uh, drawing what they need or have better options. Then we'll do Legacy's uh, Galvanize ability and increase all our damage by one. And he draws a card. All right, Tachyon. Uh, hmm. Fleet of foot would actually be good, and I can still play a card, and then I can do that. Only hits one person. Uh, hmm. Synaptic inter. All right, so we'll fleet a foot, and everybody will just draw a card. All, right, all that stuff. All right, and what do you want to play? I think. I think I just want to put this synaptic interruption. That's actually kind of nice. So we'll put that in play. And then we're going to use this ability on herself. Because I think she has like a 60 something percent chance. Oh, we discard. So she has like something something upwards of like 66 percent chance for that to activate if she uses that on herself. We'll put the riveting crane for now. And then we'll use his ability here. And we're going to hit uh, whoever has the lowest, I guess. Or do we want to go after the highest? I'm going after the lowest. And, uh, ooh. How is she? Oh, man. She's reducing. Oh, Nui is reducing that. Let me check out Nui. I, I should be checking out all these cards here. Uh, hold on. Let's check out Nui. Uh, reduce damage dealt to villain targets other than Nui by one. So I got to get rid of her, actually. Uh, so that would have been good to know. Yeah, because his. Yeah, we're going to put this out first. We'll put that out and then now uh, actually as a power I'm gonna use this deal two damage to all of them we'll hit her first confirm and then we're gonna hit just choose for me and it's only gonna do oh I forgot legacy's galvanized in effect so um, so actually I probably should have put the other world resistance but that's fine and we do a bunch of damage there Draw a card and it'll be 
dark visionary sir man she looks vicious there demoralization is really good too though um i usually don't use that but in this particular case i think i want to use it uh let's go ahead and put that and then we're going to use this on who do we want to put it on um let's do it on herself let's do it on herself uh i want to get some of her uh I don't want either of the cards, so we'll put uh, put telekinetic card. Uh, rest of mine is actually really nice. We'll take uh, we'll take that, and we draw it. All right, it's time. Oh, river of lava. This he. God damn it! I hate this thing. Uh, all right, choose for me. It's gonna burn us all for five. That's gonna hurt. Uh, we're gonna redirect damage to Nuit. That's not bad. Everybody else is getting blasted. All right, Sunsphere the uh, deals. Wait, what? The vil the villager at the highest hit point deals each target three fire damage. Oh, I just hit choose for me. Not much I can do about it, but take the hits. Oh man, these guys are hitting us hard. The first time a villain card is put into it, yeah, she gains hit points too. All right, uh, damn. What do we want to do here? I could do this heroic interception. Take that actually might be good. Uh, I'll take three damage, but then everybody else uh, won't take anything. Um, so we'll play that. Hurt myself for three, but then the whole team is protected, and then we'll galvanize. And I draw four to two. I already have two of those. Uh, Tachyon. What I'll do is I'll play this Fleet of Foot. Choose for me. Everybody will draw a card. And then let's put the research grant. We wanna we wanna try to get cards. I'm gonna play this. Draw two cards and discard a card. We can get rid of those sucker punches. Oh, the HUD goggles. That's what I want. All right, we'll get rid of a sucker punch there. And we drew a lightning reflexes and Mr. Fixer. Um, I guess we're doing the tire iron. And, and then we'll do his strike. And we're going to go after Nuit. Where is she? There we go. We got we to gotta take her down. Right, and then damage delta is is irreducible. He gets a meditation. I think uh, we're gonna go ahead and just put this out, reduce this damage, and then we'll do a bunch of damage to everybody. We'll hit choose for me and blast them all. I tell you, these guys are no joke. They're uh, they're hitting us for a lot of damage, but I'm dealing out a bunch too, so. Uh, uh, we'll sit, choose for me. This will hit everybody. And Legacy's Galvanized just making it just crazy. <laughs> uh, Nui is reducing it, so she's she's uh, fighting back uh, Legacy's Galvanized. But still, getting that extra damage on them is, is really good. I'm going to have to go with a decoy project projection and just try to give myself some health. Play that and then I'm gonna go ahead and use that ability um, hmm. I'm gonna do it on herself because I am searching for mental divergence so we'll take that actually precognition is good too but I want this mental divergence uh, get rid of ongoing cards and stuff and yeah we're gonna get we all gonna discard three cards from our decks to get rid of that room of lava and a pterodactyl thief comes out. We'll have to deal with him. Uh, uh, the villager at the lowest hit points deals the. Uh, what did he do? I cannot see the card that was just played. All right. Well, we'll just. Uh, who's considered to have the most cards in play? Uh, we'll say. 
Fixer, Tempest, or Visionary? Fixer, Tempest, or Vision? Well, it's not gonna be Visionary. We'll say, uh, we'll say Tempest. Because he's got damage reduction. Oh, I forgot. I have the heroic uh, interception going on. The Minotaur with the highest hit points, of blah, blah, blah. That's right. We have the heroic uh, interception going on. That runs out now, though. Uh, hmm. Uh, so for now, let's go ahead and put danger sense. We'll galvanize. And we draw our next evolution card. So we'll HUD goggles, lightning reflexes. We can play two cards. Let's play just play this blinding speed now. Get rid of that pterodactyl thief, and we can play one more card. Uh, do I want to do a nimble strike? Yes. Second draw card. So we'll play that and deal the damage to Nui. Yep. We we definitely got to get her out of the picture. We draw pushing the limits. And we're going to go ahead and I think I'm going to use the experiment on her. Tachyon and see what we get. Uh, see, we get it to play. We we, ooh, we get the lightning reflexes. Uh, Alright, we'll play lightning reflexes. And that lets us put the pushing the limits, which will let us play. Holy crap. Uh, we'll do that to her. Yeah, that's why I like that experiment. Uh, uh, select the first target to be damaged. It doesn't matter. Uh, choose for me. And then now none of them can't deal da damage. Actually, that's really nice. That's excellent. Like that. Alright, and then we're going to draw two cards. So, Wow, that was a very productive turn. Uh, let's see here now we'll play harmony do my strike again we're targeting Nui here and that'll do a bunch of damage three damage to her and then and then damage delta is irreducible we get a grease gun a grease gun is really nice I think we're just gonna go with some big offense here we'll uh, chain lightning and we're gonna hit her for four five Last turn. We're just gonna go in order of whoever has the lowest, so then we'll hit Isis next. And Tefnut. Alright, and then we will do our uh, Grievous Hailstorm. And we'll hit her first. Because then her damage reduction will not apply to the rest of the guys all right so she's turned over and I want to look at that so is this this does anything at the start of the turn shovel the environment trash into the environment deck Ew. all right and we'll choose for me for the rest so even when they die they still uh, give stuff but that's okay one down and the rest to go so I'm feeling kind of good now because we got one Isis is already down to 12 and we'll do some more damage here and now they don't have the damage reduction so we're, we're doing pretty good here <clears throat> they don't have any ongoing cards yet so I think now is the time for the twisty either I'll put the twisty either and I'm gonna play on mr. Tempest that's gonna that's gonna go over really well and then we're gonna use Dark Visionary's power. Who do we want to do it on? Uh, let's do it on Legacy because I'm searching for his Legacy ring. Uh, we'll take the we'll, t uh, we'll take the Superhuman Durability. That, that wasn't that great. I wanted the Legacy ring. Velociraptor pack. And he hits my decoy projection. Uh, destroy each non volunteer with three or fewer hit points. The oh no! Uh, what do these guys do? Ah, whatever. Choose for me. They're gonna do stuff. Plays a card from the villain deck. Destroy four equipment tar. Oh no! All right. Well, I can't stop it. So and he 
doesn't get to deal damage. And who's considered to have the most? We'll say Tempest. It doesn't matter because Hypersonic Assault will prevent damage. Alright. Let's see here. So, lead from the front. And we'll galvanize. So now with these two cards, any damage that the environment does, I can redirect it to Legacy. And then he's immune to environment damage. Right? So, yes. That's the plan there. Yep. Alright. Uh, do I want to take the damage? Yes. I want to keep that in play. Ooh, I forgot. It gets upgraded by the galvanize. Um, hmm. We'll not play anything. We'll skip. And we're going to draw two cards at the end of our turn. And then pushing the limits lets us get an extra card. So that's actually not that bad. Uh, do I want to do a Grease Gun? Uh, you may not use powers. You may not draw cards. Or start this turn. Non-hero targets cannot deal damage. <sighs> I think that's actually really good at in this. Yeah, we'll, I won't be able to play cards. I may not use powers or draw cards, but that's just for a turn. So let's grease gun those guys. Plop. And now uh, they can't do damage on their turn. I think I want to do the Subwave Elemental Inducer. We'll play that. And then we'll do the Grievous Hailstorm. And then select the first target to be dealt damage. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll say, hey, say choose for me. And we get to choose what is it going to be. Uh, let's uh, say Infernal, just because I think it's cool looking. I'll increase it by one. Bam. And we'll say, uh, oh, we'll keep doing that. Infernal. Increase it by one. And Infernal. Increase by one. Look at that damage, it's just stacking up. Uh, yeah, again with the Inferno increased by one. And I guess against the Velociraptor pack, I uh, will say cold. And do I want to reduce it? Nah, screw it, we'll kill it. Well, it doesn't die yet, but I don't know why I'm trying to save it. But. All right, and then it's gonna, I'll say, choose for me, it's gonna hit them all for two damage each. Oh man, this is really nice with the area effect damage to all these guys. Uh, all right, and that's part of why I picked Tempest and uh, Tempest and uh, uh, oh my God, I can't remember her name. Uh, Miss uh, Tachyon. Uh, they're good at hitting multiple targets, so I could put another de decoy projection. Eh, let's just let's go offense. Hit two damage to everybody. Choose for me. Legacy's Galvanize makes it just particularly deadly. Okay. And I'm going to use Dark Venetianary's ability on... Do I Legacy? I really want to get him to his Legacy Ring. Uh, or Inspiring Presence. We'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. And she draws a Cerebral Hemorrhage. All right, what does the environment have for us? Uh, when this card, each player may destroy one of their ongoing cards. Each player may destroy one of their ongoing cards. Do any hero that destroys an ongoing card two toxic damage? Do any hero that does not de destroy an ongoing card four toxic damage at the end of the environment turn destroy this card? Um, I think we're all gonna just take four damage because I don't want to destroy any of our ongoing cards, so we'll skip. And I'll just say choose for me. He takes none. So we'll take four. It's okay, we're, we're okay on health. I mean, we're kind of low, but. Alright, man. Uh, ooh, oh no. Uh, destroy four hero ongoing cards and equipment cards. The event target with the lowest hit points deals. The hero. Man, man, man. All right. We have to destroy four of our ongoing cards. Well, we can... Oh, we're okay with pushing the limits. So that's one. Uh, let's see. I'm okay with research grant. That's two. Uh, two more here. Um, hmm. I don't want to do the grease gun. We need that because that's preventing damage. Um... 
I could let go of the riveting crane because I have something, right? I have. Let's uh, check him out. He's got another style that he could put, so we will let go of the riveting crane. Oh, so we have center to replace it. And the fourth card will be. Hmm. Either the subwave inducer or the otherworldly uh, resilience. I think. Because we want to keep most of this. Um, actually, the harmony is not. I have a backup harmony, so we'll, it's fine. And the grease gun prevents. Yeah, we'll choose for me. The grease gun's preventing the damage. That's actually really nice. And we've just really nerfed these guys. All right, now, uh, what will Legacy do? So we got options here. Is it time for his, him to go on offense? Because uh, I don't think we really need that. So let's uh, let's yeah do a flying smash. Let's just get rid of these guys. I'm not gonna kill her yet. She's gonna die eventually. We'll hit Nef Nef Nu Nef Nut. I keep wanting to say Left Nut, uh, and then we'll hit these other two guys. And Isis will will die in, in due time, and then he's gonna galvanize. Man, we could, could we? I don't think we have enough to kill him this turn. Uh, close. So, uh, we'll play the Pushing the Limits. We'll play the Sonic Vortex. And I'll do, we'll kill, well, we're gonna kill her. Actually, we're just gonna kill everybody. I mean, not kill everybody, but we'll damage everybody. Because uh, I can hit up to nine targets. There's no reason not to kill the other one. But we'll kill her last. Alright, now we gotta take a moment and see what these are doing. Uh, we're gonna stop dealing damage. Uh, this one, at the, each player discards a card. Uh, discard the top five cards of each hero deck. That's not nice. Alright, and we're gonna use. We're gonna go ahead and use this on Tachyon. And she's just discarding. Boo. Oh, we draw HUD goggles though. Alright, the grease gun is gone and we're back to square one. Meditation. Uh, we can uh, mm, we can get a style card and put it into play. Do I want to do that or overdrive right now? I can overdrive and hit for two, which will be four uh, because of Legacy's Galvanize and we kill them. Alright, so overdrive. And we'll use his uh, attack here to hit Gab here. Hit him for two. And then we can use it twice. So we'll hit Gab again. And give him the one two punch. Pow pow. And he's done with his turn. And then uh, Tempest will carry things. So we're going to make everything. What do we want to make it? Um. Well, we did it from before. Let's make it radiant now. And just because we can, we'll put the. I eh, will put the shooting wings. Who cares? Because we're gonna do the grievous hailstorm and blow them all up. All right, choose for me. And we'll make it fire. Increase by one. So that's uh more, more damage to everybody. That flips him over, and the last one will make it energy. Increase it by one. And four damage takes him out. And that's it for all the bad guys. So, not bad. We got rid of them all. So, that actually wasn't terrible. Um, I mean, you know, these are some of the best heroes. Like Tempest and Tachyon are just really good if you know you're going to be dealing with lots of enemies and legacy is just legacy and visionary pretty much go with just about any group and uh, mr. fixer has always been like I hear a lot of people badmouth mr. fixer and say that they don't like him like he's just got you just gotta know how to use him he's gotta I means has a little bit of a setup where you gotta get the uh, you know you have to get your style and equipment card in play 
But once you got him in play, that's all he needs, and then he's able to, you know, kind of rock and roll from this. He doesn't need a lot of setup. And uh, that's why I chose this group here. They don't really need a lot of setup. I wasn't sure what to expect from the Ened. This is my first time playing against them. And uh, anybody that's watching, I'm thanking you for viewing. Uh, you know, viewing my first live stream here.